Hi, I'm Josh with Josh Lavik and Associates here at Best of Wisconsin Homes, and we're doing our community spotlight today in Monona. We're here with Andrew Kitzlar, uh, joining us at the San Damiano Friary property. So why don't you tell us a little bit about this place and what makes it unique and special? Yeah, sure. We're here at the uh, San Damiano Friary property uh, that the city of Monona just acquired. It's about 10 acres. It has about 1,500 uh, feet of shoreline. Um, it's stoked in history, uh, significance, cultural, environmental, um, and it's just a wonderful property that the city now has uh, acquired for public use. It has been essentially in private hands for about a hundred years, so mm -hmm. we're really excited that uh, the city has not only purchased it, but allowed the public to come onto the uh, campus and enjoy the green space, the serenity, the nature, uh, and the wildlife. So. Um, it's really a one-of-a-kind, one unique yeah. property, and so we're, we're really excited that, uh, that the city of Monona has this. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm actually really excited to be here. I think this is the closest I've been to, to the building here. I've driven past it a number of times sure. on Monona Drive, but uh, you know, being able to see and you know, experience this environment yeah. is pretty beautiful. So. Well, and that's one thing that makes this property unique is oftentimes people drive by on Monona Drive, mm -hmm. and they, that's their only perspective of this property. Mm -hmm. But really when you get back here, and hopefully you're sensing this yourself, is mm -hmm. you can't even hear the street noise. You're really back mm -hmm. here, you're listening to the lake, you're listening to the wildlife, the birds that are all around us. Mm -hmm. And it really brings you back into the sense of history, not only with the property, but also with the house, mm -hmm. uh, which used to be a Frank Alice house way back when. And of course, uh, this property used to be indigenous land mm -hmm. and it has a few effigy mounds on the campus too. So it's it's really a one of a kind, unique property. Yeah. Uh, was that, through, was it right? the Ho-Chunk? tribe is that yep. what the, so the ho-chunk tribe originally had this and so it was a significant property especially with the solstices where the sunset uh, oh, okay. happens across the lake here and sure. just the skyline of Madison is on the other side here uh -huh. um, but it, it is uh, it's really significant and so we're yeah. we're happy that it's around yeah no I think uh, I'm sure the residents in Monona and nearby East Madison are definitely excited yeah. to be able to enjoy this property yeah. as well. So, And one thing that is really um, great about Monona is they enjoy their green space, they mm -hmm. enjoy their parks, and they value that. Mm -hmm. um, not only for their environmental impact, mm -hmm. I mean, just thinking about this being developed, um, the environmental impact it would have on our lakes and our land, but also just the recreational aspect of it, walking around. So there's some new uh, paths in the woods here mm -hmm. on this property that uh, have been added to, for the enjoyment and to okay. access to the lake. Um, but That'd also, be nice maybe to put a bike path through here or something. Yeah, some yeah, point. that's certainly yeah. one of the ideas too yeah. is, you know, the, the county's path around the lake mm -hmm. uh, loops right past uh, this property and so bringing it yeah. down towards the lake would be would be pretty amazing. So, yeah, for sure. um, any and, other plans for the future? Do you know the, of what this may become? Or so, so the plans are uh, really up in the air. And so, what we have now done, uh, the city acquired it uh, just a little uh, bit ago. Mm -hmm. And so, we really want people to come back onto mm -hmm. the property, really enjoy it, experience it, and then to think back and say, you know, what do I want to see here? Sure. What do I want to see a facility? What do I want to see with a bike path? or a, a dock for boats or different things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're gonna start that master planning process mm -hmm. probably in about uh, you know, the next six months. Mm -hmm. And that process itself might be a year to 18 months. Sure. And so we wanna get not only Monona residents, but we also, I mean, Madison is right across the street mm -hmm. here. Uh, Dane County obviously is invested in this. So we wanna get everybody's impact, or, um, everybody's ideas of what, yeah. what they want to see here. So yeah. a lot can happen, it has a lot of potential. And, yeah. uh, and again, I'm just really happy that at least the majority of it is going to be green space, but we're really hoping that it's all going to be mm -hmm. uh, some sort of green space for the public to enjoy. Awesome, well I appreciate you uh, telling me more about this property. I mean, I know you've been a resident here in Monona yep. and involved in uh, the, the city government as an alder yep. and for a number of uh, years, I understand. Yeah, so I mean, that's the other reason why this is so exciting, at yeah. least to me personally, is yeah. uh, you know, growing up here, you always drove by this property. I always wondered what was going on, what, what, what it was like, what the history was. Yeah. But now, I mean, so I've been a resident here for the last, uh, well, for my whole life. And so now yeah. finally, uh, being able to come back here and feel it and experience it is 
uh, eye-opening and, and just a wonderful uh, ability for us to have. So I want more people to come back Absolutely. here and more people to enjoy it. Yeah, well I appreciate that. If some people wanted to get involved, what would what would be a good next step for that sure. kind of thing? Sure, first and foremost, I would check out our website. It's called sandamianominona.org. Okay. Uh, certainly you're able to reach out to us through info at sandamianominona.org. Um, you're able to mail us, but please reach out to us either by the website, it has a contact form on there, um, or the email address. We're happy to get people involved and people interested in this property. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for yeah. sharing that with us thanks today. Thanks for being here. And this is uh, Best of Wisconsin Homes.